I think that now we are uh, able to speak uh, for the well first time uh, about curing uh, some patients with myeloma, especially young patients uh, that are eligible for stem cell transplantation, and especially those patients with what we are calling standard risk uh, that are representing 60-70% uh, of the patients. For those patients, in fact, we need to use all the drugs that are uh, available and effective in addition with stem cell transplantation, in addition with monoclonal antibodies. And the goal is not to have treatment until progression. The goal is to reach uh, very fast and very uh, deep responses uh, and to reach minimal residual disease negativity following induction, following stem cell transplantation, following consolidation, and also following a fixed duration of maintenance. And then we are going to assess MRD negativity uh, at several time points uh, during the uh, 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 overall strategy. And then if patients are remaining MRD negative, especially during maintenance, for example, once a year, uh, during two to three years, maybe we can stop the treatment and just uh, uh, look uh, uh, if uh, MRD is remaining negative. And for those patients, I think that we are going to cure probably half of them. Uh, this is what we can anticipate. And uh, well, uh, we've heard also about uh, the, some new designs of future tri trials from cooperative groups, uh, mostly in Europe. And uh, these uh, are the uh, ideas, in fact, uh, to, uh, uh, to reach a cure for, for uh, young patients.